physical cause, as far as you know, of that collision? What made the, uh, the uh, capsule hit the station? Uh, it was the lack of, of um, obvious, what we call cues in flying, that the range rate, that's the speed at which it was closing on the station, was too high, too close. That range rate, the speed, built up too quickly a long way away from the station so that the progress no longer had time to break. It has a very weak um, series of thrusters. That's not bad if you give the progress time to use them. But what Vasily was seeing on his screen was an image that didn't change in size very fast. That's the nature of using a TV screen to judge your speed and your distance. And so he couldn't determine accurately from the image that the speed was too high. And so by the time it was really apparent the speed was too high, you get what's called ground rush, it's as if your parachute is jumping towards the ground. The ground rushes up fast. In this case, the station grew fast very quickly in the image. By that time, there wasn't enough acceleration or thrust from the engines of the progress to prevent what happened next, which was the collision. So he simply didn't have enough navigation information available to him. That's correct, yes. Mike, do you believe that uh, Spectre can be recovered, or is it a total loss? And I have a follow-up. Um, the most important thing that Spectre provides, actually, is power, and that has essentially been restored. So the, the volume, of course, uh, is useful. There are items in Spectre that were planned to be used that cannot be used now. But already the programs, both the American and the Russian, have kind of reappraised their priority list on what to do on Mir. And so at some point, if they haven't repaired it in, say, the next six months, I think they will cut their losses and, and just press ahead with the remaining volume.